Do you believe in 50 50 or you want someone who provides Absolutely. 100%? No, I will never date a 50 50 man again. <laughs> if I can support myself 100%, it doesn't make any sense to go 50 50 with. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. And I'm back with another episode of Foolery. Now, let's jump right on into this. I'm not even going to hesitate too much about it. My single mothers out here, why is it you realize after dropping multiple kids with a bunch of losers? That the next man that come through, he's going to pay for everything, marry me, and give me the soft life where I can just sit on my butt and do nothing. That's the new rule after you done gave the bombs the most important thing in, in, your, in the world, and that's children. Why? Why do you wait till after all this and decide now you worth something? But well, this young lady, this young lady, she comes in here. She has two kids. She's here on a dating show, um, Ashley Dalton's page. I'll put the original video in the description. And you guys can see the whole thing. I chop it up a little bit because it gets long. Um, follow her page. You know, support the page, that thing. Now, this young lady is delusional as crap. And that's all I can say about it. And I want y'all to pay attention to the first three to four minutes and things that she says. And we're going to jump back in here. So let's get it. Let's go. Uh, hello, Marquia. How old hello. are you? Where are you located? And what do you do for a living? I am 29. I'm from Iowa. And I work from home in operations. Yeah. Do you have children? Yes. I do. I have two. How old are they? I have a six and a half year old and a two and a half year old. And may I ask, why aren't you with the two and a half year old's dad? Uh, he was a fling, <laughs> um, and didn't want anything. I didn't want anything serious with him either. Uh, but he also didn't want anything serious, and so we parted ways. Okay, so let's do a quick recap on what just went by in the last what like two minutes and something. She's twenty nine with two kids, a six and a two-year-old, two baby daddies. The last baby daddy was a fling. So she had a fling baby. Um, here's a little something y'all ladies need to understand. When y'all go on these dating shows, don't say stupid crap like that. To refer to one of the fathers as a fling and your baby pretty much a fling baby, it's ridiculous. What man sitting there like, oh, okay, that's what I'm looking for. A chick so reckless that she have flings and have baby, make babies. All right? And then there's a kid in the background. I don't know if it's one or two, but making so much noise. It sounds like it might be the two-year-old. And see, I always notice little small things. When these kids in the background making all this noise, when they don't stop them. And see, she just going on like she don't hear it. Again, another one that's tone deaf to the kids' noise. When you're not used to telling your kids to stop making that noise, go sit down, go in the other room, she doesn't do that. She allowed the kid to sit there and just keep making noise while this woman is trying to interview her. See, all these little things pay attention to. But let's get back to it. She got some more. I just want to stop and let y'all catch up on that. Date someone with children. Yeah. Baby mama drama because I don't have any baby daddy drama, so no no baby mama drama or anything like that. What type of guy are you lo looking for? Don't describe how he looks, just his character. Um, I want somebody kind, um, somebody generous, and is smart, and um, is a decision maker. I should mention this because just like the girls are saying um, they want a provider and I'm always like, what does that mean to you? What does generous mean to you, Marquita? What does that look like for you? Um, somebody who 
thinks about me and just in like their everyday interactions. We don't have to text and talk all day. I'm too old for that. Like we don't have to text and talk all day. But like if you see something that makes you think of me, pick it up. And the next time we see each other, me or you're scrolling on Amazon or what have you, if you see something that I like, send it. Just thinks of me like in their everyday like interactions kind of thing. Somebody generous and like somebody who obviously kind to like wait staff and just somebody that is giving, not overly so in a people pleasing type of way, but who thinks of others essentially. And does this man have to make a certain amount of money per year? Um, yes, just be, I mean, where I am in Iowa, it doesn't have to be six figures, but minimum like 80, 90,000 if you're gonna support a family and live here. Okay, okay. I just can't get past this kid in the background. That's going to bother me the whole damn video. Um, ladies, if you're going on a single show, dating show, whatever it want to be called, look your best. Don't come on there looking like a handsome boy. Just don't do it. I'm trying to see, like, what's going on? Does she have a little fade or temp fade going on? Or just it pull back? What's, what's going on? She's like a little handsome boy sitting up there. Why aren't you looking your best if you're requiring a man that makes 90000 plus? You on here looking like a little boy. I don't think too many men making that kind of money is looking for a 29-year-old woman with two kids, one with about a fling, and, and she looking like a little damn handsome boy you want to be walking around town with. You see what I'm saying? It don't make sense. Even with a man that's generous, basically you want a man that just buy you stuff and be thinking about you 24-7. I don't know where this fantasy life came from, this Disney life, but we don't walk around thinking of our woman 24-7. Now, we might see something here and there, but she had like, well, if you see something, buy it. If you see it on this, buy it. If you get this, buy it. Go, go fix yourself up and come back. How about that? Just do that. You believe in 50-50 or you want someone who provides 100%? No. I will never date a 50-50 man again. <laughs> if I can support myself 100%, it doesn't make any sense to go 50-50 with someone. Let me ask you this, Marquita, and because you said that so, like, certain, you were sure, what does that look like for you, a provider? Since you've been through that experience, what does providing now look like for you? Like, what, what does that mean rent? Does that mean mortgage? Does that, does that mean the car note? What does that look like for you? Yeah, that means all the things. Like, if I'm going to potentially have more children, because I am open to have more children, if I'm going to pretend to potentially give my life up to be with you, yeah, you have to pay for everything. I said earlier, I'll maybe pay an internet bill, maybe, <laughs> just for fun everything car note everything if i can do all of that by myself if i'm going to be with you then you need to be able to also do the same okay so this this thing i keep seeing with these ladies these single mothers y'all love doing this y'all have had these two kids with two dudes that's sorry as crap y'all want to meet a new guy who got his stuff together now the new guy needs to come in and pay for everything these two sorry dads didn't do and on top of that, take you out of your financial burden and let you just spend your money however. And now I'm going to pay all your bills whatsoever. And then she had the nerve to say, I'm giving up my life. What are you talking about? You're giving up your life. These are your kids that he's taking. And you saying you're giving up your life. He's giving up his life. Because now he has a burden that he shouldn't even have. But you got the nerve to say you giving up your life to have a kid for him when he's taking on two of your kids by two other dudes. And let's not forget the fling. You see what kind of sense it's making? Making none. The little handsome boy ain't talking about nothing. That's what I'm saying. Little handsome. Would he also have to, I guess, pick up the responsibilities of your children, your two children as well? I mean, yes. Because the I, in when you're in a long-term relationship and marriage is what I'm looking for, like 
our kids, if they have kids too, like I think of them as my children as well. So it wouldn't make any sense for me to, you know, think of somebody as somebody's kids as my own, but then not them, you know, think the same. So yeah. And when I ask these questions, this is for you, Marquita, and anyone else watching, I always like to say throughout the live, there's no right or wrong answer, right? So whatever is whatever you want, that's what you want. What are three deal breakers for you? Three deal breakers? Um somebody that's not close with their family, or at least has a legitimate reason as to why not why they're not close with their family. So if he's an older man and like, you know. They have older, you know, older siblings and everything. Not being close is kind of understandable. But if it's somebody like around any sense to be with somebody who's not close with their family and not have a legitimate reason why, or especially if somebody is a, a father, like not um, taking care of their kids, that's an absolute no. If you can't take care of your kids, you can't take care of me either. So <laughs> we have nothing to talk about. And then like your fling baby father, right? Also, um, somebody who can't keep stable employment or anybody who's like got side hustles and like not like a real job, like all their, their job is we have to have security. So, uh, somebody who's got stable employment, you can be an entrepreneur, but not an Uber eats, uh, Lyft, none of that. Okay. Let me point out something real quick. Even on these other dating shows, when they ask this question, what's the deal breakers and all this, and they go describing the dude, I guarantee you, because she was so specific about what she was saying, her baby fathers and the last dude she dated were these guys. I guarantee you. Because if not, why would they even be on the list? What type of dude, you you talking about Uber Eats drivers and all this other stuff. Why is that on there? I guarantee you her exes and her baby fathers were these type of dudes that she just described that she doesn't want anymore. Now she feels she needs to upgrade to the, the next echelon, which she's not ready for. Just my thoughts. Y'all hit me in the comments. What y'all think about that? Because I really think that's what it is. What do you feel like is one thing that you learned about yourself from your last relationship that you feel like you need to work on? Um, I wouldn't even say from my last relationship, definitely from being in therapy for the last four years. I think I'm too forgiving. I'm being a former people pleaser. And so I'm, I'm definitely healing that. And so not, um, not doing that definitely is something like just being strong in what I want and like not bending because someone might be upset about something is one thing. Um, something else that I've been working on being more like intentional and just following like, because I'm a Pisces. And so um, I have all of these dreams and aspirations. And so being more open to like following those like creative paths um, is something that I need to work on. And then I, I don't know. I think those are those are the two big things. I think another thing that I'm working on is um, I make a good income for myself, but I would like to have a nanny. So for as long as I'm at least single, I would like to be able to supply a nanny so I can um, get out of the house more often um, and travel more and like not have to worry about my kids being taken care of. So. Okay, so one big thing that she's coming out and just talking about what she wants and she wants and she wants and all this other stuff. You don't pay attention to detail. The woman asked her one thing, name one thing that you learn about yourself that you need to work on. She gives four different things. And what kills me, the last one, is I learned that I need a nanny so I can get out the house more and travel. What are you talking about? You need a nanny. So now you need this guy to get you a nanny. The child in the background is going ham, banging and talking and singing, whatever it's doing, but she has never said yet in this whole video, shh, baby, mommy's talking. None of that. Just talking like it ain't nothing. I want everybody to hear her. See, she's been in therapy for the last four years, and her therapist done told her, now manifest what she wants 
demanded in so many ways. That's why she's talking like this. So I, I've been in therapy for the last four years. When I started being in therapy for the last four years, like, and what did you learn? You think because you was in therapy, now you popping out of that hole. Oh, I got my worth up to here now because I done got healed. See what I'm saying? And I'm healed now. And I need everybody to know that I'm healed with these two badass kids of mine. And I can come in your life and, and do what? That's my question. What can you come and do for me? Y'all see it different? Y'all let me know in the comments. All right? Let me know. A woman like that, what can she come into a guy's life? What, what can you do? Um, my last question would be, would you be willing to relocate for love? Yes. Caveat is my kid's dad uh, is also here. So that is difficult. But I'd be willing to work through that because... Um, you know, my, my kids, they have like a strong like foundation here and family and everything. So it has to be really, it has to be somebody exceptional and they have to be, they have to be making more than 80 or $90,000 a year for me to consider <laughs> moving. But yeah. All right. All right. Now this, that's, now see, she's all about the money. She's going to take in consideration moving if if this guy is making 90,000 or more. So and when she mentioned the dad, she said my kids dad, singular. She didn't say my kids fathers or dads dad. Singular. So what I'm thinking is cuz she kept saying he had big family, strong bond, all this here in this city. She's going to leave that child with that dad. Take the fling child with her and the new guy and bounce. Y'all see what I'm saying? Now, she has a plan. And her plan is, I want to meet somebody, get me out of this mess I created as a young woman. I've gotten these two kids by these two sorry dudes. I got these bills. I'm tired working. I'm tired dealing with all these kids. I need a nanny. I want to go travel. I want to get out. I want to get away from this life and have a soft life and let my man pay for everything and take care of me. That's what she wants now at 29. I'm sorry, boo. And I wish you'd have made this woman make them stand up and look at that body because I bet you that body looks just like a little boy too or it's a little frumpy body. She don't look like she might have them, those curves like that. You know, you don't even bother to come on here and fix yourself up. But you don't look like you might have that going on. So I would have made her get up because you asking for a lot and these dudes want something back. And she never mentioned not one time what she would do for him. Everything was do for her. Pay for her. Do for her. Pay for her. Buy her stuff. If I'm wrong, hit me in the comments. I don't mind being wrong, but prove me wrong. This is like a little low-key gold digger with two kids. I just need me somebody. She want to be a kept woman. Like, I'm willing to drop my kid off over here and take the other one with me if you got enough money. That's basically what she said. If you got enough money, shit, I'll leave the kid here. Might leave both of them and run off and have this soft life that I've been wanting all my, all my 29 years. All right, that's it for your boy today. I'm here representing my Army boys. Who are? Always in the house. And also, I'm going to put the, the, um, the link to the original video in the description. So if you guys want to see the whole thing, y'all go ahead and see it and support the channel. Also, support my channel by subscribing, like, share. Hit that super chat, super sticker, and that super thanks. And also, become a member of the Convice family. And as always, and as always, it is your boy. Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Peace.